The loss of a child to an infectious disease in 24 hours is just unimaginable. If they don't die, there is a four in 10 chance that a child will have a complication such as deafness, blindness, or potentially require surgical amputation of one or more limbs. And the months and years of rehabilitation, having to go back to surgeries to have the revision of those amputations as children's limbs grow. It's such a devastating disease that we now thankfully have vaccines to protect children against. I've had the opportunity in my career to see the devastating effects of infectious diseases when immunisations are not available. I undertook a public health degree during my training and had one of those light bulb moments where I understood for the first time about the power of public health and about how by making good policy decisions we can improve the health of the whole population not individual by individual. This really inspired me to continue my work in immunisation and public health and the opportunity to provide the best protection for children through immunisation. And we now have a, a program here in South Australia which is the envy of the world because here in South Australia we have meningococcal vaccines that cover every strain that causes disease in infants and adolescents. And so, you know, it's so exciting for me to see the numbers plummet from 35 cases a year down to seven last year. And it's, it's just a wonderful outcome. My first experience of this was in Western Samoa as a medical student but because of um, lack of resources and doctors available on the island, I was responsible for the management of children who were coming in with gastroenteritis, severely dehydrated. So dehydrated, you never see that sort of situation in Australia. As a paediatric trainee at the Women's and Children's Hospital in Adelaide, again, I saw the effects of serious infections such as meningococcal disease, where we still didn't have vaccines available and for some infections that can mean a child dies within 24 hours of becoming infected. Vaccines save lives and we have the opportunity to make sure that every child in Australia is protected against life-threatening infections.